Someone has been naughty and they've leaked a Blender benchmark score for the 5090. Now I'm planning on getting a 5090 or a 5080, depending on what's available towards the end of the month. And I'll be going through all of the benchmarks and things like that. So I'll be running that and testing out these leaks and seeing if they're accurate. But I want to help you out as well. Whether you're in the market for one or you're just curious, please send me any questions that you have about the 50 series Blender related, of course, and I'll get to testing those as well. Okay, so how did I work this out? Well, we've got the Blender 3.6 scores here, and we've got the Blender 4.3 scores here. So we've got 5,926 for the 3090, 12,706 for the 4090. So that was a huge increase. And then we've got this new one that's just been posted, and I've got a a warning there that it's a sample size of one so far. So let's have a look at Blender 4.3. The scores are gonna be lower because it tests more. So we've got 5,221, 10,985 for the 4090. And then how do we get this 15,400 number? Well, I've simply taken the 40% uplift from the 4090 with the Blender 3.6 and added it on. Hence why in the intro I was saying around 15,000. This is higher than what I was predicted before, so I'm really excited to see what the actual scores will be. So here in front of us, we have a chart. I'll leave the 70 and 80 series cards off this chart and all the other ones that I had on there before. So we can just focus on the 90 series from the 3090 on the right, all the way up to the 5090. And as we can see, I think this is a great generational improvement so far. There seems to be a lot of hate around this card because of all the AI frame generation stuff. But I think for Blender, this is gonna be a huge uplift. And I'm glad that my pessimism of it being a bit lower, I'm starting to get really excited about this now. That's it for this quick update. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the end of the month. See you soon.